So in 2008, the Metro and the Oregon Zoo were able to pass a bond for $125 million. Uh, this was a significant amount of funds uh, approved in the time of a recession. I mean, the public was really that motivated to, to make improvements on the zoo campus. It was a $125 million bond uh, to basically plan out the next 20 years of development for the zoo, and in addition, uh, complete half of that. The first phase uh, has eight projects in it. They're broken up into eight different projects. And in particular, KPFF has been part of a great deal of them, uh, one being the penguin filtration system. The wonderful outcome that came out of that one is we ended up saving 6.5 million gallons of water a year. Uh, the focus of the improvements were uh, enhancing the elephant habitat, making some significant utility upgrades. Among other animal exhibits, uh, significant infrastructure changes to reroute the train to make room for elephants. The old elephant habitat, um, it was 1950s construction. Um, cutting edge for the time though, we've learned so much since then. Elephant Lands has a lot of exciting components. There's large yard areas, there are these shelters where they have some encounter space where the keepers can engage the visitors. But there's also these fun components like a new water cannon that they can use for enrichment of the animal care. We built the brand new pool for them. You can get right up alongside the edge of the pool. Some of the challenges that we experienced as civil engineers on these types of design projects was accommodating and accounting for these weird animal facts. I mean, elephants can reach a good eight feet with their trunk, so you can't plant any vegetation that you want to save within that limit of the barrier. There is no book with these standards. We have a, used to have a large elephant, Tusco. I think he was 13 or 14,000 pounds. He was introduced to the encounter yard habitat, and the first thing he did was beeline right over to the shade structure, and he had his trunk and he hit it, and it moved a little hit it again, and he was able to get the whole thing just oscillating, almost gave the structural engineer a heart attack. You know, when you're designing for animals, within five minutes, they come out and tell you where, you're, <laughs> where your design lacked. Elephants need uh, dry feet, ideally. They're very sensitive, and they can pick up a lot of vibration, and are actually rather soft and delicate, so uh, the design was to introduce sand so that the elephant's feet uh, would stay dry. Keepers have noticed an incredible difference in their, um, one, their muscle tone. Uh, they've noticed that now that they can get out, walk around, and then also the uh, improvement of their pads. They're actually looking very natural. The whole uh, impetus of the project was to get them to have more natural behavior. So we um, provided random timed feeders uh, all throughout the whole habitat so they can basically go up and down the entire thing and they never know where the food's going to come from. It will automatically drop. The elephant habitat under previous conditions only provided about an acre. It was a major goal of the bond to enhance that area, to expand it. As a result, it had significant impacts on other exhibit areas uh, as well as a train. I think the initial thought was it wouldn't be very difficult to just simply realign the train and build a new track. But that proved to be its own major project. And we had the resources in our Tacoma office to bring Steve Kingsley on board, uh, who had some commercial rail experience. As an engineer, I'm pretty good at drawing circles and, and arcs, but that is not exactly how it works with train tracks. There's very specific parts and pieces that come together. Working with KPFF has been great. Um, it has been wonderful having them as part of the zoo for so long. Through all the projects, I think it's been a very productive, healthy relationship. As a result of these projects, uh, the visitor has an enhanced experience. I mean, the zoo train, it now provides many views into new exhibit areas, new habitat areas. Um, the animals have larger and, and more modernized habitats with a lot of enrichment opportunity. It's really satisfying to be a part of a project that can build this infrastructure, this skeleton or the bones of the campus. That's a great legacy to leave behind at the Oregon Zoo.